dear students i welcome you all for gnana taranga cet coaching program organized by department of pre university education government of karnataka i am dr sidling murthy gs students today i am going to interact uh, the two important uh, chapters comes under plant physiology one is photosynthesis in higher plants and the other one is uh, the cellular respiration in plants let us uh, discuss the first chapter photosynthesis in higher plants as you know photosynthesis uh, is a process by which uh, the green plants can prepare the food material here in the image a tree is there a green tree so this tree can utilize all the components for example water carbon dioxide sunlight and to prepare the sugar molecules while during this process oxygen is evolved as uh, a by product why the plants are green as you know that is mainly due to the cell organelle called chloroplast regarding with this chapter we should discuss following components definition and equation of photosynthesis structure of chloroplast the pigment systems light reaction electron transport chain chemiosmotic hypothesis dark reaction that is called calvin cycle c4 pathway photorespiration factors affecting photosynthesis so many important uh, the components uh, you could read in this particular chapter the definition of photosynthesis is so simple photosynthesis is a physico chemical process by which the green plants use light energy to drive the synthesis of organic compounds its chemical reaction six molecules of carbon dioxide 12 molecules of water in presence of chloroplast and light the glucose molecule will be prepared so during this the water molecule is evolved the evolved water molecules we call photolyzed water during the entire process is oxygen is evolved as the by product the next slide regarding with the photosynthesis there should be analyzed to know historical perspective regarding with the process those historical perspective points given in the textbook so this indicates different scientists along with their important inventions with the photosynthesis joseph frisle 1770 showed that the plants have the ability to take up carbon dioxide from atmosphere and release oxygen jan inger house release of oxygen by plants was possible only in sunlight and only by the green parts of the plants theodore d sasser water is an essential requirement for photosynthesis to occur julius van sachs green parts in plants produce glucose which is stored as starch t w engelman he did a very good experiment by using cladophora alga and oxygen sensitive bacteria to show the effect of different wavelength of light in on photosynthesis and plotted the first action spectrum of photosynthesis likewise the cb van nile photosynthesis is essentially light dependent reaction and also he will give chemical equation of the photosynthesis Hill 
evolution of oxygen occurs in light reaction. Calvin as we know that traced the pathway of carbon fixation. Hatch and Slack 1965 discovered C4 pathway of carbon dioxide fixation. Regarding with the photosynthesis, the students as you know very well regarding with this experiment. This experiment is Beljar experiment described by Joseph Fristley. According to this experiment, the Fristley give a summary regarding with the plants restore to the air whatever breathing animals and burning candles remove. Here the breathing mouse and a burning candle is there, both will release carbon dioxide. So, therefore, there is no availability of the oxygen in the jar, as a result the mouse will die. But we can put a potted plant. So, whatever will be the gases released by the mouse and the burning candle used by the green plant and to release oxygen. As a result, so all will live happily. Raw materials for photosynthesis. We should know atmospheric carbon dioxide, soil water, photosynthetic pigments and light are the essential for photosynthesis. Site of photosynthesis, chloroplast. So, generally chloroplast is a membrane bound cell organelle. It has outer membrane and inner membrane. In between there is a space that is called periplastidial space. The inner membrane encloses two important components. One is called the stroma. Here the dot like structures, this is called stroma and here these are the grana. As we know that grana is the site for light reaction and the stroma is the site for dark reaction. And this grana made up of number of disc like structures called thylakoid discs. Presently known that the thylakoid disc has the components which are essentially to convert light energy into the chemical energy. The end products of light energy utilized by the stroma and the different kinds of enzymes to fix atmospheric carbon dioxide into carbohydrates. Pigments involved in photosynthesis. There are four pigments we could notice regarding with the photosynthesis. They are comes under two categories. One is the chief pigment and the second one is called accessory pigments. The chief pigment always chlorophyll A. It is bright or blue green in chromatography. It is a major pigment which act as a reaction center involving the converting the light energy into chemical energy and accessory pigments are harvesting pigments. They are of three chlorophyll B, xanthophylls, carotenoids. They are represented by respective colors yellow green chlorophyll B, yellow xanthophyll, yellow to yellow orange carotenoids. Here the graph showing the absorption spectrum. Photosynthesis essentially a light dependent process. Photosynthesis in green plants occurs within the visible spectrum. The visible spectrum ranges between 400 nanometer to 700 nanometer wavelength of light. These the photosynthetic pigments react the different wavelengths of light that is given in the first graph that is chlorophyll A, carotenoids and chlorophyll B sensitive to which colors of light. Generally the photosynthesis occurs the best in red light and the blue light 
and it is very poor to respond green light. Therefore, the plant is exposed for both red and blue light, the photosynthetic product is more and compared to the other combinations like blue green and the red green. So, generally depending upon this 680 nanometer wavelength of light and 700 nanometer wavelength of light, it is a effective wavelength of light for the photosynthesis, it is indicated by this graphical representation. So, light harvesting complexes, generally light harvesting complexes which includes the two important components, one is called photo system 1 or pigment system 1, another one is called photo system 2 or pigment system 2. These two different photo systems has light harvesting complexes, which are made up of hundreds of pigment molecules bound to protein and present within the photosystems. Each photosystem, whether it is a photosystem 1 or photosystem 2, has all the pigments except one molecule of chlorophyll A. So, generally it is nothing but an antenna, a light harvesting system, because that will convert the light energy into chemical energy. So, therefore, it is called reaction center. So, generally photo system 1 and photo system 2 differentiated by their respective absorption of light energy. Photo system 1 represented by P 700, because the system absorbs the 700 nanometer wavelength of light. Likewise, the photo system 2 P 680 that means, it absorbs 680 nanometer wavelength of light. Light reaction, because the entire photosynthesis process occurs in two steps, one is called light reaction and another one is called dark reaction. First light reaction occurs, then it is followed by dark reaction and as you know light reaction in grana and dark reaction in the stroma. The entire the process of light reaction, so occurs in four important steps, one is called light absorption, this is the splitting of water molecule that is called photolysis or photo oxidation of water. Generally during this the oxygen is evolved, evolution of oxygen and the formation of high energy compounds like ATP and NADPH2. Generally, all these important steps we could generalize in different terms, while during light reaction or photochemical phase, the excitation of chlorophyll molecule will be taken place that is called photo excitation. The second one is called photolysis of water. The third one is called formation of ATP, photophosphorylation. And the another one is called photoreduction, that is NADP converted into NADPH. So, both ATP and NADPH, they are the assimilatory powers, they are very much essential to fix carbon dioxide into carbohydrates during dark reaction in the stroma. So, here the diagrammatic representation of uh, uh, light harvesting complex. So, it is called shortly abbreviated as LHC. So, light harvesting complex uh, consisting aggregation of uh, different types of photosynthetic pigments in which uh, this is the chlorophyll A which act as a reaction center. Whenever this particular photo system can hit by light that is called photon, the electrons which are present in the main reaction, this is called chlorophyll atom, this is called nucleus. The electrons which are present in the outermost orbit of the atom, generally whenever 
the light rays can hit all the light harvesting pigments like chlorophyll B, xanthophylls and carotenoids is to absorb the light energy and supply to the main reaction center. This is generally then the light energy gets absorbed by the main reaction center in turn send the same to the electrons. As a result, the electrons becomes excited and they can exhibit a field reaction. Generally, the excited electrons are accepted by the primary acceptor which are present in the chloroplast. Generally, regarding with the light reaction, there are two important photophosphorylations we could notice. One is called cyclic photophosphorylation and another one is called non-cyclic photophosphorylation. First, you should learn cyclic photophosphorylation. Cyclic photophosphorylation means the boosted up electrons of the photosystem 1. Here, dear students, chlorophyll P700 is a photosystem 1 the electrons are excited. The boosted up electrons exhibit uphill reaction accepted by the electron acceptor. And these acceptors can transport the light energy through the electron transport system that we represented as ETS. While during this process, the energy rich electrons donate the light energy to the phosphate ion. As a result, phosphate group combines with ADP to form ATP. Energy loose electrons come back to its original orbit. Therefore, this is called cyclic photophosphorylation. Non-cyclic photophosphorylation. The name it has itself indicates the boosted up electrons not come back to its original orbit. Hence, it is called non-cyclic. The cyclic photophosphorylation, when we compare with the non-cyclic photophosphorylation, has only one photosystem or it occurs in the photosystem only or which can depending upon photosystem only, one only. But in non-cyclic photophosphorylation, there are two photosystems, one is photosystem 1 and another one is photosystem 2. Both photosystems are interlinked by the electron transport system. Therefore, the entire arrangement of uh, these two photosystems looks like the letter Z, hence it is called Z schematic representation. Once again, during non-cyclic photophosphorylation, both the photosystems are hit by light. As a result, the electrons of the main reaction center of both photosystem 2 and photosystem 1. So, excited, the electrons excite about the electron excite agit though. So, electron acceptors of the both photosystem is to receive those electrons, in which the electrons boosted up electrons of the PS1 accepted by the primary acceptor and those energy rich electrons transfer the light energy to the NADP. As a result of that, the NADP becomes energy rich. At the same time, the electrons are also excited and boosted up from the photosystem too. They are also accepted by the electron acceptor and energy rich electrons pass through the electron transport system. In this particular stage, the light energy given to phosphate ion, as a result phosphate ion combines with ADP, ATP will be produced. The energy loose electrons not come back to photosystem 2, instead of that it is entering into the outermost orbit of the photosystem 1. Therefore, once again you should notice the photosystem 2 
main reaction center outermost orbit is loss of two electrons that is very very important how the loss of two electrons of the outermost orbit of the photosystem 2 is fulfilled that is very important idr mele namage cet questions gulu athava neat questions gulu maximum ag barutte so generally during non cyclic photophosphorylation one more chemical reaction occurs that is called photolysis of water or photo ionization of water or you also called photo oxidation of water here the water molecule in presence of light can split into hydrogen ions and hydroxyl ions so generally 2 h2o anta new tegidkondre in presence of light anta tegidkondre two hydrogen ions barutte plus two hydroxyl ions barutte so simple what is the fate of these two hydrogen ions the fate of two hydrogen ions going to combine with the energy rich nadp whenever the two hydrogen ions combines with the energy rich nadp it is reduced into nadph2 so this is called photo reduction of uh, the nadp2 nadph2 what is the fate of remaining the hydroxyl ions so generally the hydroxyl ions is reunited to produce a molecule of water ಒಂದು ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯೂಲ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಕೊಡುತ್ತೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ನಾವು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಫೋಟೋ ಸಿಂಥಸಿಸ್ ಅನ್ನು ನೋಡಿದಾಗ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಡೈ ಆಕ್ಸೈಡ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಎಚ್ ಟು ಓ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಅರೆಸ್ಟು ಸಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಎಚ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಓ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಎಚ್ ಟು ಓ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದೀವಿ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಎಚ್ ಟು ಓ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಫೋಟೋಲೈಸ್ಡ್ ವಾಟರ್ ದೆನ್ ಸೊ ಜನರಲಿ ಎ ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯೂಲ್ ಆರ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಈಸ್ ಎವಲೋಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಎ ಬೈ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಟೈಮ್ ದಿಸ್ hydroxyl ion donate two electrons those two electrons entering into the outermost orbit of the ps2 and refill the loss of two electrons therefore what is the fate of the two electrons of the photosystem 2 anta heldaga the photosystem 2 get the two electrons from the hydroxyl ion complex athava water splitting process anta nam tilkobeku the entire process anna nimu analysis padadaga so na, why it is called non cyclic andre boosted of electrons of the ps2 not entering its orbit but it is entering into the orbit of the ps1 the two electrons of the ps1 gets react or combines with the nadp so as a result of this loss of two electrons of photosystem taken place that will refill its two electrons from the splitting of water molecules so as it indicates the entire non cyclic photophosphorylation involving the formation of two energy rich compounds one is called atp and another one is called nadph because these two are very very important for fixation of carbon dioxide into carbohydrates during the dark reaction so ಮಕ್ಕಳ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೀವು ಗಮನಿಸಬೇಕಾದಂತಹ ಒಂದು ಸಂಗತಿ ಏನು ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ನಾನ್ ಸೈಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಫೋಟೋ ಪಾಸ್ಪಾರಿಲೇಷನ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಲೈಟ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಗೆ ಸಂಬಂಧಪಟ್ಟಂತ ಎಲ್ಲ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ಸ್ ಗಳನ್ನು ಕೂಡ ನಾವು ನೋಡಬಹುದು ನೋಡಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಕಾಂಪೋನೆಂಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ದ ಫೋಟೋ ಎಕ್ಸೈಟೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ನೋಡಬಹುದು ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಹಿಯೋರ್ ದ ಫೋಟೋಲೈಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟರ್ ನ ನೋಡಬಹುದು the third one is called photo phosphorylation anna nodabodu the fourth one is called the photo reduction of nadp to nadph to nodabodu therefore so all the four steps involving photo phosphorylation yavudu antandre non cyclic photo phosphorylation yake adu cyclic photo phosphorylation agodilla antandre in cyclic photo phosphorylation there is no production of nadph to therefore so photo system 1 is not universal and the what we cyclic photophosphorylation is not universal but the non cyclic photophosphorylation is universal okay so generally now non cyclic photophosphorylation anna study madadaga 
ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಫೋಟೋ ಪಾಸ್ಪಾರಿಲೇಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ರೋಸೆಸ್ ಬೈ ವಿಚ್ ಅಡಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಾಸ್ಪೇಟ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಟು ದಿ ಎ ಡಿ ಪಿ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಎ ಟಿ ಪಿ ಇನ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಅಂತ ಜನರಲಿ ದ ಸಿಂಥಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಟಿ ಪಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಬೈ ಎ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಸೈಂಟಿಸ್ಟ್ ಪೀಟರ್ ಮಿಶಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೈಪಾಥಿಸಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಕೆಮಿ ಆಸ್ಪಾಟಿಕ್ ಹೈಪಾಥಿಸಿಸ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಎ ಲಿಟ್ಲ್ ಡೀಟೈಲ್ಸ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ where the photo systems are present generally dear students the photo system 1 and photo system 2 which are present in the thylakoid membrane this is called photo system 1 this is called photo system 2 apart from that each thylakoid has also another two components one is called uh, the atp synthase very very important and another one is called uh, nadp reductase enzyme nadp reductase enzyme reductase illi nan bardaga nodi which is present in the thylakoid membrane so of the stroma andre that means the reductase enzyme attached to the stroma part of the thylakoid membrane so therefore all the four components which are in associated with the thylakoid membrane involved in the formation of a atp molecule generally atp synthase is an enzyme which has two components one is called f0 particle and another one is called f1 particle generally the f1 particle facing outside the thylakoid membrane and f0 particle which is present in the thylakoid membrane it has a channel system generally while during atp synthesis it is worked on the basis of the proton gradient generally in the lumen of the thylakoid the protons are accumulated and pass through the f not f1 particle gives energy to the adp as a result atp will be produced so this is called chemiosmotic synthesis of uh, atp so after the light reaction this is called dark reaction dark reaction occurs in the stroma it could be explained by melvin kelvin benson and basham hence it is called kelvin cycle it is a light independent process therefore this is called dark reaction while during this particular cycle first formed stable compound is three carbon containing phosphoglyceric acid hence it is called c3 cycle in this reaction carbon dioxide is fixed hence called carbon fixation cycle during this cycle carbohydrate is prepared therefore this is called biosynthetic phase generally atmospheric carbon dioxide is fixed by five carbon containing compound ribulose 15 biphosphate the process is called carboxylation process as a result of that uh, the stable first compound 3 phosphoglycerate will be produced so generally this compound utilize the resultant product of light reaction atp and nadph2 so converted into 3 phosphoglyceraldehyde generally one melvin kelvin cycle at a time is to fix only one carbon dioxide as a result two molecules of phosphoglyceric acid will be produced for the synthesis of one molecule of glucose generally during this particular kelvin melvin cycle total number 6 required for 6 melvin kelvin cycle 12 molecules of diphosphoglyceraldehyde will be produced in which the 10 molecules involved in the regeneration of ribulose monophosphate then the what we called ribulose the biphosphate remaining two join together to form the fructose 16 phosphate then the fructose is later on converted into sucrose so therefore the c3 pathway or c3 cycle runs like this c4 cycle so c3 cycle usually 95% of the plants can exhibit c3 cycle and some few plants 5% of the plants exhibit c4 cycle 
this is also called hatch slack pathway hatch slack pathway okay how exactly while during the melvin kelvin cycle first produced stable compound is three carbon containing compound in c4 cycle also the first produced compound is uh, the four carbon containing compound oxaloacetic acid oaa generally c4 cycle occurs in some of the plants like maize okay generally in maize there is an anatomy called crunz anatomy so monocot leaf has a, a bundle of wreath wreath of uh, bundle of cells that is called vascular bundles vascular uh, tissues like xylem and phloem which are surrounded by wreath of uh, cells called bundle sheath cells so generally c4 cycle in mesophyll tissue we can see dimorphic nature of the chloroplast therefore carbon dioxide first fixed by the mesophyll cells chloroplast of the mesophyll cells it is combines with water molecule made to form the carbonic acid then the carbonic acid converted into malate then the malate from the mesophyll cells gets entered into the bundle sheath cells so in bundle sheath cells actually carbon dioxide is fixed why c4 plants is to show this adaptation when compared to the c3 cycle in c3 cycle there is a process called photorespiration will be taken place but photorespiration is a wasteful process not to synthesize any glucose or not to synthesize any atp molecules to avoid that the c4 plants is to exhibit this adaptation so light reaction which is taken place in this mesophyll cells and carbon dioxide fixation will taken place in the bundle sheath cells because in mesophyll cells the rubisco enzyme is absent rubisco enzyme is absent r u b i s c o rubisco enzyme is absent that rubisco enzyme is present okay this is so simple then photorespiration so what is photorespiration generally rubisco is most abundant enzyme in the plant kingdom which has affinity with both carbon dioxide and oxygen when it is combines with carbon dioxide it fixes the carbon dioxide converted into the carbohydrates whenever the photosynthesis proceeds so rubisco enzyme instead of the carbon dioxide so it can combines with oxygen and generates photorespiration process so generally this photorespiration will leads in the formation of two carbon compound that is called phosphoglycolate hence it is called c2 cycle hagagi so makla nivu ಈ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಅನ್ನು ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಸಿ ತ್ರೀ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಯಾವುದು ಸಿ ಫೋರ್ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಯಾವುದು ಸಿ ಟೂ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಯಾವುದು ಅಂತ ಗೊತ್ತಿರಬೇಕು ನಿಮಗೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಫೋಟೋರೆಸ್ಪಿರೇಷನ್ ಅಕರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ತ್ರೀ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನೆಲ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಕ್ಲೋರೋಪ್ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಅನದರ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಪೆರಾಕ್ಸಿಸಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅನದರ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಮೈಟೋಕಾಂಡ್ರಿಯಾ ಓಕೆ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಫೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫೋಟೋರೆಸ್ಪಿರೇಷನ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದ ಎಂಡ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ photosynthesis is factors affecting photosynthesis generally nimige factors gulu gottirutte light gottirutte carbon dioxide temperature water gottirutte adre light ik sambandh pattagi ishtu important points gulu nimige gottirbeku ondu emerson's enhancement effect anta gottirbeku that is called red blue combination kottaga so photosynthesis activity is higher product is more anta gottirbeku beyond the visible spectrum when you exposed for the plants anta gottadaga it can inhibit the photosynthetic activity red drop effect anta gottirbeku high intensity of chlorophyll high intensity of light can damage the chlorophyll atoms anta gottirbeku that is called solarization solarization anna now also called heliosis anta now karithivi gottirli mattu the plants which are growing in the highly intensified Uh, what we call light called heliophytes mattu very shady places al beliyuvanta gidgalige ceophytes antivi anta gottirbeku carbon dioxide gottide so generally uh, the c3 plants can use uh, 
um, the highest concentration of carbon dioxide when compared to the C4 plants. That is why we called C4 plants are better efficient mass producers in Tanav Karitivi. Temperature matto water go tirbe ku matto. E photosynthesis anani matta FF Blackman's uh, what we call law of limiting factor nimi ke go tirle be ku. Okay. So generally uh, these are very important brief points um, regarding with the photosynthesis. Let us uh, discuss uh, some of the important multiple choice questions on uh, photosynthesis. So. Makla ili modelne question no tumba simple lagi de mat nirva gide. The inhibitory effect of strong light on photosynthesis is known as anta. Iga previous slide ali nana dona discussion maridve. So generally the strong light anta bandaga highly intensified light anta nimi guthir beka gute. So highly intensified light is to damage the chlorophyll atoms. So, if chlorophyll atoms damage it could affect the photosynthesis. Therefore, the option is the solarization. If you have any other options, why not chlorosis, excitation, etiolation? Chlorosis is the yellow coloration of the leaf. So, generally, etiolation is the Shady places are less intensified light are plants are better than thin stem, elongated stem are better than that. That is now etiolation and tachyretivity and excitation is concerned with the excitation of the electrons from the main reaction center. Ado, ha gagi idu kuda alla. So ha gadre answer options are check madana. Today yes answer is solarization and tano karitivi. Bani so idik samant patta ha gaye. Today chlorosis andre yellowing of leaf and tani mikwatir beko. And etiolation and tatta de nodi ilnodi. This is called normal green color leaf ide. So ilnodi the leaves are yellow color ide. Adu koskara dana nawo chlorosis and tano kari tivi. Matto etiolation and tatta andre nodi. So plants, flowering plants grown in partial or complete absence of light have long weak stems and tata kari tivi. So here long weak stems irote. This is the point. My next slide. Which of the following does not occur during non-cyclic photophosphorylation? But in non-cyclic photophosphorylation, kalt vi namo. Kalt agaya nai tu non-cyclic photophosphorylation ali ATP synthesis saagutte. So, reduction of NADP to NADPH2 agutte. Photo-oxidation of water into hydrogen matto hydroxyl ions agutte. Yuh mooran no kudastari maadi dira niyo. Adre, illi question ye nedutte does not anta idhe. Does not under Yavdagir Bodu formation of NADH2. Akendre, so photophosphorylation A. Now note do, so formation of NADP2, NADPH2 note TV. Ade cellular respiration cell A. Now formation of NADH2 note TV. Hagagi, non cyclic photophosphorylation pertaining to the photosynthesis and NADH2 pertaining to the respiration. Anta, Nimige, Gotir Beku. So, answers are not check moderna. So, definitely formation of NADH2 is the correct answer. Okay. So, my next question, the plants which grow in shady places as they require less intensity of light are known as anthaite. Already ugly held the heliophytes and re. So, bright the what we called lightly belly one top plants Heliophytes and the karitivi. Zero fights and the tandre. The plants uh, what we called grown in very scanty of water, less amount of water and the mesophytes and the moderate amount of water and the gotide. But this uh, answer is the pant tandre that is called CO fights and the karitivi. So generally, the plants which are growing in shady places and now CO fights. Let us discuss uh, or check out the answer. Nodi CO fight santaide, therefore, this is the correct answer. So, new CT and answer mat be kadre. So, illi yawa question of tumba octagi. So, answer optional answers giri. So, synchronize aguti enter new correct tagi guess madi work mat be kagute. Sudden nagi new complete to yawde conclusion ge barbardu. The chemiosmotic hypothesis was proposed by Yanta. Okay. Ili Nalak Jana scientist Guru, their events. Now already history uh, of uh, 
the photosynthesis ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇಷ್ಟು ಜನ ಸೈಂಟಿಸ್ಟ್ ಗಳದು ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ देयर ಡಿಸ್ಕವರೀಸ್ ಗಳನ್ನ ನಾವು ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಮಾಡಿದೀವಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ರಾಬರ್ಟ್ ಟಿಮರ್ಸನ್ ಅಂತ ಬಂದಾಗ ಸೋ ಜನರಲಿ ಈಸ್ ಕನ್ಸರ್ನ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಫೋಟೋಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ 1 ಮತ್ತು ಫೋಟೋಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ 2 ಅಂತ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಹೂ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ದ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಪಿಗ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಆರ್ ಫೋಟೋಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಆರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕವರಿ ಅಂತ ನೀವು ಅನ್ಕೋಬಹುದು ವ್ಯಾನ್ ನೈನ್ ಅಂತ ಬಂದಾಗ ಫೋಟೋ ಸಿಂಥೆಸಿಸ್ ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಅನ್ನ ಹೇಳ್ತಾನೆ ಅದನ್ನು ನಾವು ಡಿಸ್ಕಷನ್ ಮಾಡಿದೀವಿ ಮತ್ತು ಮೆಲ್ವಿನ್ ಕೆಲ್ವಿನ್ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಈಸ್ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಡಾರ್ಕ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ನಿಮಗೆಲ್ಲ ಗೊತ್ತಿದೆ ಹಾಗಾದ್ರೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಯಾವುದು ಕೆಮಿಯಾಸ್ಮಾಟಿಕ್ ಹೈಪಾಥಿಸಿಸ್ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಪೀಟರ್ ಮಿಷನ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಈಸ್ ಪಿಗ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯೂಲ್ ವಿಚ್ ಅಬ್ಸಾರ್ಬ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಈಸ್ ಓಕೆ ನೋಡಿ ತುಂಬಾ ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ತುಂಬಾ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಸೈಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಮತ್ತು ನಾನ್ ಸೈಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಫೋಟೋ ಪಾಸ್ ಪಾರಿಲೇಷನ್ ಅನಾಲಿಸಿಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದೀವಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮೈನ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ವಿಚ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ದ ಲೈಟ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಇನ್ ಟು ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಈಸ್ ಸೋ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕ್ಲೋರೋಫಿಲ್ ಎ ಅಂತ ನಾವು ಕರಿತೀವಿ ರಿಮೈನಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಪಿಗ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಹಾರ್ವೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಪಿಗ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ಲೈಟ್ ಹಾರ್ವೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ ಎಚ್ ಸಿ ಅಂತ ನಾವು ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಜನರಲಿ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ನೀವು ಆಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋದಾದ್ರೆ ಸೊ ಸಿಇಟಿ ಮತ್ತು ನೀಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅದರ ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲೇಸ್ ಗಳನ್ನು ಕೂಡ ಕೇಳುವಂತ ಚಾನ್ಸಸ್ ಕೂಡ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಕ್ಲೋರೋಫಿಲ್ ಎ ಈಸ್ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಎ ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಸಿ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಎಚ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಟು ಎಂ ಜಿ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎನ್ ಫೋರ್ ಓ ಫೈವ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಕ್ಲೋರೋಫಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಸಿ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಎಚ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಎಂ ಜಿ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎನ್ ಫೋರ್ ಓ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಇವೆರಡನ್ನ ನೀವು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಆಗಿ ತೆಗೆದುಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಡ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಟ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಫೋಟೋಸಿಂಥಸಿಸ್ ನೋಡಿ ಲೈಟ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಫೋಟೋಸಿಂಥಸಿಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವ ಯಾವ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಗಳು ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ನಾವು ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ನಾನ್ ಸೈಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಫೋಟೋ ಪಾಸ್ ಪಾರಿಲೇಷನ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದೀವಿ ಹೌದಲ್ವಾ ನಾನ್ ಸೈಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಫೋಟೋ ಪಾಸ್ ಪಾರಿಲೇಷನ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಎಟಿಪಿ ಸಿಂಥಸಿಸ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಸಿಮಿಲೇಟರಿ ಪವರ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ವಿ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಎನ್ ಎ ಡಿ ಪಿ ಎಚ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ವಿ ಹೌದಲ್ವಾ ಹಾಗೆ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಈಸ್ ಎವಾಲೌಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಪೈ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಅಂತ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಚೆಕ್ ಮಾಡಿ ನೋಡೋಣ ಸೊ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಡೈ ಆಕ್ಸೈಡ್ ನೋವೇ ಕನ್ಸರ್ನ್ ಎಫ್ ಎ ಡಿ ಎಚ್ ಟು ಇಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಗ್ಲೂಕೋಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಯಾಕೆ ಸೊ ಗ್ಲೂಕೋಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಯಾಕೆ ಸರ್ ಗ್ಲೂಕೋಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಫೋಟೋಸಿಂಥಸಿಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಗ್ಲೂಕೋಸ್ ಸಿಂಥಸಿಸ್ ಆಗುತ್ತಲ್ವಾ ಅಂತ ನನಗೆ ವಾಪಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಕೇಳ್ತೀರಾ ನೀವು ಅಂತ ಅನ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋಣ ಸೊ ಆದ್ರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ಗ್ಲೂಕೋಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಆಗೋದು ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಿ ಎಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡಾರ್ಕ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ನಾನ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಕೇಳಿರೋದು ಲೈಟ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಹಾಗಾದ್ರೆ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಯಾವ್ದಾಗಿರ್ಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಇದೆ ಎನ್ ಎ ಡಿ ಪಿ ಎಚ್ ಟು ಇದೆ ಮತ್ತು ಎ ಟಿ ಪಿ ಇದೆ ಹಾಗಾಗ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಸೊ ಈಗ ಆನ್ಸರ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಚೆಕ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಡಿ ಸೊ ಓ ಟು ಎನ್ ಎ ಡಿ ಪಿ ಎಚ್ ಟು ಅಂಡ್ ಎ ಟಿ ಪಿ ಆರ್ ದ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ ಎಂಡ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಟ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಂತ ಇದು ಒಂದು ನೇರವಾಗಿ ಫಿಗರ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಡಯಾಗ್ರಮ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಫಿಗರ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಅಂತ ನಾವು ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಆರ್ ಡಯಾಗ್ರಮ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಅಂತ ಸೊ ಜನರಲಿ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಗಳು ಸಿ 
absorption spectrum experiment vanyl oxygen evolved by green plants comes from water anta nodi so idu nodda gena agutte automatically ill low vand kadege blackman anta niu kelidri so f f blackman he was the man concerned with the law of limiting factors anta nimige gottittu adre ill nan kottirodu blackman matte photo respiration anta kottidini hagagi blackman law of limiting factor anta iddidre adanna niu सो करेक्ट पेर अंत हेलबी ब्लैक मैन विथ फोटो रेस्पिशन अंतर सो दिस दट वि कॉल आर्ट पेर सो नोड़ दट इज ट्रू ब्लैक मैन वाट वि कॉल सो फोटो रेस्पिशन मत नि डे सो ऐन डौट बे सो ब्लैक मैन ऐन हेतने ला आफ लिमिटिंग फैक्टर्स अंत हेतने सो जनरली ऐन सो अकॉर्ंग टू द ला आफ लिमिटिंग फैक्टर आफ ब्लैक मैन when a process depends on a number of factors its rate is limited by the pace of the slowest factor that is very very important because photosynthesis is a biological process which is controlled by number of factors light irbodu carbon dioxide irbodu temperature irbodu oxygen irbodu you are not going to give any one of the factor it act as the limiting factor to limit the entire process anta ee concept anna neevu tilkondirbekagutte very important मत निगे इन आपशन बेगत सर फोटो रेस्पिशन अंत शब्द यूज आग नहीं फोटो रेस्पिशन ओटो वारबर्ग अंत दट इज सो इंपारटेट ओके सो आपशन आपशन करेक्ट इधन करेक्ट इवो अदू कन्सर तेजक आग ऐन निम प्रोसे लर्निंग स्टडी रिगार्डिंग विथ नीटो तुम आप्ट होते भावस्तनी सो मै नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फोटो रेस्पिशन टेक्स प्लेस ओनली दिस डैरेक्ट क्वेश्चन सो डक्ट क्वेश्चन आगे ना आंसर न नेर जो डिसकशन दट इज ओनली बै ग्रीन पार्ट आफ द प्लांट अदर आपशन आर् नाट करेक्ट सो लेट वि चेक सो दे फोर ग्रीन पार्ट आफ द प्लांट इज द करेक्ट आंसर नेक्स्ट हियर यह रीति क्वेश्चन को स्टेटमेंट टेक्स्ट बुक को स्टेटमेंट एर करेक्ट एर रांगी क्वेश्चन आलट्रबेटमेंट वन नो जोसेफ फ्रिस्टले हईपोथिस दट प्लांट रेस्टोर्स टू दर् वाट एवर ब्रीथिंग अनिमल अंड बर्निंग कैंडल रिमूव निम्ग बेलजार एक्सपेरीमेंट स्टडी दट वि कॉल ब्रीथिंग अनिमल लाइक मौस आगे बर्निंग कैंडल रिलीजन डईआक्सइड अंत गए कॉर्बन डईआक्सइड यार रेस्टोर द प्लांट रेस्टोर स्टेटमेंट सरी अल सरी ओके सो जॉन स्टेटमेंट टू नो जॉन इंजन हाउस सन लाइट इज एसेल टू दि प्लांट प्रोसेस दट सम प्यूरीफ दि एर फौल बै दि बर्निंग कैंडल अंड ब्रीथिंग अनिमल नोटी आप्ट हेतने सो डेफिनेटली ग्रीन प्लांट कैन यूज द लाइट सो दट पर्टिक्युल लाइट सो इनवा इन फोटोलिस वाटर वैल डूरी दि फोटोलिस आक्सीजन इज इवाल दट आक्सीजन इज प्यूरीफ दि वट वि कॉल दर् सो डेफिनेटली द कॉबन डईआक्सइड इज अक्सेप्टेड बै दि प्लांट अंड आक्सीजन इज रिज बै दि प्लांट देर बै दर् बिकम प्यूरीफयर मीनिंग नोड़ा करेक्ट है स्टेटमेंट वन स्टेटमेंट टू ऐन करेक्ट इलाट वि चेक सो ये स्टेटमेंट वन अंड टू आर् करेक्ट अंड रिमेनिंग आपशन आर् नाट करेक्ट इनचूर चेंजल चेंजो स्टेटमेंट वन रांगल जोसेफ प्रिस्टे हईपोथिस दट प्लांट डू नाट रेस्टोर कॉन्ट रेस्टोर ऐन बर्दिट मुगत एंटर मीनिंग चेंज आगते अथवा ना सो जोसेफ प्रिस्टे एक्सपेरीमेंट सो जान इंजन हौज को सो जान इंजन हौज एक्सपेरीमेंट जोसेफ प्रिस्टे को स्टेटमेंट रांग आगे होते गमन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दट इज डक्ट क्वेश्चन सो से दरेक्ट मैच अंत ओके करेक्ट मैच से हिंदी क्वेश्चन आर्ट पेर औट्री करेक्ट पेर रीडिंग दि क्वेश्चन अंड अनल दि क्वेश्चन इज वेरी इंपारटेट रिगार्डिंग विथ सीईटी अंड नीट एक्सामेशन 
ನೋಡಿ ಸಿ ಟು ಸೈಕಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಚ್ ಕ್ಲಾಕ್ ಪಾತ್ವೇ ಅಂತ ಇದೆ ರಾಂಗ್ ಸಿ ಫೋರ್ ಪಾತ್ವೇ ನಾವು ಹ್ಯಾಚ್ ಕ್ಲಾಕ್ ಪಾತ್ವೇ ಅಂತ ನಾವು ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಮತ್ತು ಸಿ ಟು ಸೈಕಲ್ ಅನ್ನ ನಾವು ಫೋಟೋ ರೆಸ್ಪಿರೇಷನ್ ಗೆ ನಾವು ಕಂಪೇರ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಇವೆರಡು ಕೂಡ ಮ್ಯಾಚ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ರಾಂಗ್ ಓಕೆ ಸಿ ತ್ರೀ ಸೈಕಲ್ ನೋಡಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬಯೋಸಿಂಥೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಸಿ ತ್ರೀ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಒಳಗಡೆಗೆ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಡೈಆಕ್ಸೈಡ್ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಇಂಟು ಕಾರ್ಬೋಹೈಡ್ರೇಟ್ಸ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಬಯೋಸಿಂಥೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಇದು ಮ್ಯಾಚ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸಿ ಫೋರ್ ಸೈಕಲ್ ನೋ ಫೋಟೋ ರೆಸ್ಪಿರೇಷನ್ ನೋಡಿ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಇದಾಗಬೇಕಾಗಿತ್ತು ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಇದಾಗಬೇಕಾಗಿತ್ತು ಆದ್ರೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಇದೆ ಆಂಫಿಬಾಲಿಕ್ ಪಾತ್ವೆ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಅನಬಾಲಿಕ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೇ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಇದು ರಾಂಗ್ ಯಾಕೆ ಅಂತಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡ್ಸ್ ಕೆಟಬಾಲಿಕ್ ಅಂತ ನಾವು ಕರಿತೀವಿ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಸೊ ಆಂಫಿಬಾಲಿಕ್ ಪಾತ್ವೆ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬೋತ್ ಕನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡೆಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಅಂತ ಅದನ್ನ ನಾನು ಸೆಲ್ಯುಲಾರ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಿರೇಷನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮುಂದೆ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಡ್ತೀನಿ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಅನ್ನ ಚೆಕ್ ಮಾಡೋಣ ನಮ್ಮ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಯಾವ್ದಾಗಿತ್ತು ಸಿ ತ್ರೀ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಆಗಿತ್ತು ಸೊ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ಸಿ ತ್ರೀ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬಯೋಸಿಂಥೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಸೊ ಚೆಕ್ ಔಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಓಕೆ ಕೆಮಿ ಆಸ್ಪಾಟಿಕ್ ಹೈಪೋಥಿಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಟಿ ಪಿ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ಅಂತ ಆಗ್ಲೇ ನಾನು ಹೇಳ್ಬಿಟ್ಟಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಹೌದಲ್ವಾ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ ಟೈಲಕಾಯ್ಡ್ ಲುಮೆನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೋಟಾನ್ ಸರ್ ಅಕ್ಯುಮುಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಮೇಟ್ ಟು ಫಾರಂ ದ ಗ್ರೇಡಿಯಂಟ್ ಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಪ್ರೋಟಾನ್ ಗ್ರೇಡಿಯಂಟ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಹೆಚ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಅಂತ ನಿಮಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿರ್ಬೇಕು ಯಾವಾಗ್ಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸೋಡಿಯಂ ಅಯಾನ್ಸು ಪೊಟಾಷಿಯಂ ಅಯಾನ್ಸು ಅಕ್ಯುಮುಲೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಇವ್ ಯಾವುದು ಕೂಡ ನೀವು ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಡಿ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಟಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಪ್ರೋಟಾನ್ ಗ್ರೇಡಿಯಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಸೆನ್ಷಿಯಲಿ ಫಾರ್ ಟು ಸಿಂಥಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಟಿ ಪಿ ಬೈ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಎಫ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎಫ್ ಒನ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಕಾಂಪೋನೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಟಿ ಪಿ ಸಿಂಥಿಸ್ ಎನ್ಸೈಮ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ರೋಟಾನ್ ಗ್ರೇಡಿಯಂಟ್ ಅಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಮೆಂಬ್ರೇನ್ ದೆನ್ ಮೈ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಈಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ನೋಡಿ ಒಂದಾದ್ರೂ ಇರಬಹುದು ಅಥವಾ ಎರಡಾದ್ರೂ ಇರಬಹುದು ಕೇರ್ಫುಲ್ ಆಗಿ ನೀವು ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಕಟ್ ಡಿವಿಜನ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೇಬರ್ ವಿತ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಕ್ಲೋರೋಪ್ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಹೌದಲ್ವಾ ಯಾವುದೇ ಕ್ಲೋರೋಪ್ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ತೆಗೆದುಕೊಂಡಾಗ್ಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಯಾವ್ಯಾವ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕ್ಲೋರೋಪ್ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಹೇಗ್ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಅದನ್ನೇ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಅದನ್ನೇ ನಾವು ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಸೊ ಡಿವಿಜನ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೇಬರ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಫ್ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಲೈಟ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಂತ ನಿಮಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿದೆ ಸೊ ಸ್ಟ್ರೋಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಡಿವಿಜನ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೇಬರ್ ಹಾಗಾದ್ರೆ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇದೆಯಲ್ವಾ ಎಸ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇದೆ ವಿತ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಕ್ಲೋರೋಪ್ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಮೆಂಬ್ರೇನ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾನ ಹೌದಲ್ವಾ ಸೊ ಕ್ಲೋರೋಪ್ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಮೆಂಬ್ರೇನ್ ಬೌಂಡ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಆರ್ಗೆನಲ್ ಅದರೊಳಗಡೆಗೆ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾನ ಇದೆ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾನದೊಳಗಡೆಗೆ ತೈಲಕಾಯ್ಡ್ ಇದೆ ತೈಲಕಾಯ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಮೆಂಬ್ರೇನ್ ಸ್ಯಾಕ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದ ಟ್ರೂ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾನ ಈಸ್ ದ ಸೈಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಟ್ರಾಪಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಲೈಟ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಸಿಂಥಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಟಿ ಪಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಎನ್ ಎ ಡಿ ಪಿ ಎಚ್ ಟು ಹೌದಲ್ವೇ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾನದಲ್ಲಿ ಲೈಟ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ವಿ ಲೈಟ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಸೈಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಮತ್ತು ನಾನ್ ಸೈಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಎರಡನ್ನು ಕೂಡ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಮಾಡಿದೀವಿ ಸೊ ಫಾರ್ ಎ ಟಿ 
photo respiration nagbe kadre two carbon compound so phosphoglycolate anta na karitivi which is so associated with the PCR cycle that is called photosynthetic carbon reduction cycle or Melvin Kelvin cycle anta yake idana na associate martivi anta tandre so early morning carbon dioxide available be kadre rubisco carbon dioxide jati ge mix up pagote atwa combined agote and in involved in the preparation of carbohydrate. But after an act the gain agute, oxygen concentration just yadaga, the same Rubisco enzyme in agute, oxygen jute combined dark bito, two carbon containing compound, phosphoglycolate agute, adukos karadana now PCO cycle and the karitivi, photorespiratory carbon oxidation. Tumba need the examination either mele, balash two questions guru kuda bandide. So yakin tatandre, it is a special process when we compare with C3 plants and C4 plants and the karitivi, it occurs in. 3 cell organelles and the answer here is no. so chloroplast to peroxisome matto mitochondria no, so generally in agute, oxygen combines with RUBP adaga. so 2 carbon containing compound phosphoglycolate barute. e phosphoglycolate so from the chloroplast gets entered into the peroxisomes go gute. Ali, it combines with oxygen made to form the glycine and the karitivi. that is very very important then glycine gets entered into another cell organelle called mitochondria and it is later on converted into serin and the karitivi. then serin through the peroxisome finally to reach the chloroplast in the form of glycerate and the now karitivi. so therefore a particular process which is involving three important cell organelle is the uh, the photorespiration one is chloroplast another one is called peroxisome the third one is called mitochondria adana nano answer alli discussion maadide 15th question is identify the correct set of labels in the given diagram representing atp formation through chemiosmosis nodi illi chemiosmotic pathway anna describe maaduvantaha diagram anna kottidivi ee diagram alli E pink color in the yellow that is called the thylakoid membrane and the karitivi. So that is called D and the now kotidivi. So generally this is called ATP synthase complex and the gotide. ATP synthase complex it is an enzyme which has two parts and the, that is called A F0 particle and the karitivi. B F1 particle and the karitivi. Okay. So entire what we called component and agote which is involved in a process that is called non-cyclic photophosphorylation. During non-cyclic photophosphorylation only, the ejected electrons of the photosystem 1 combines with the NADP at the same time two hydrogen ions from the photolyzer water. So, convert NADP into NADPH2 agute. NADPH2 agute. So, e NADPH2 agudrinda. So, now we will easy agi ega e diagram ana assess marbodo. A andre F naught and tha. so B and Tatandre F1 particle, C and Tantre NADPH and D and Tatandre that is called thylakoid membrane and tha. Let me check the optional answer. Yes, A is F naught, B is F1, C is NADPH and D is thylakoids membrane and now karitivi. Generally the ATP synthesis also occurs in mitochondria. So whatever will be the photophosphorylation occurs in the chloroplast is called photophosphorylation and in mitochondria the same components which are involved in the ATP synthesis that is called oxidative phosphorylation in presence of oxygen. If you do kuda niwu complete differentiate mat beko because uh, the what we called the proton gradient in chloroplast accumulated in the lumen of the thylakoid and the gotir beko. Ade nawu mitochondria na tikit kondaga the proton gradient which is present in the space of the uh, what we called mitochondria that is called perimitochondrial space and the protons go aggregation sagirte that is very very important because uh, in the mitochondria uh, the rackers particles are f not f1 particles present towards the inner surface of the cristae and that we go through back agate so mundhe no done adana okay compare the statements a and b and select the correct answer from the options given below the statement a helute c4 plants are better biomass producers idu sari ide c4 plants are efficiently utilizes the carbon dioxide and lack of photorespiration. Agle held we know. 
C3 plants ali photorespiration agutte. It is a wasteful process anta heedithwe. C4 plants ali photorespiration agodilla. Haag agbittu. Answers anna nao check maadadaga. So, both statements are correct. And statement B is the reason for the statement A anta nao heedpoodhu. Next question is, which of the following statement is false with regard to Rubisco anta. Okay. Ili nana ko optional answers anna kotidhi. It has same active site for carboxylation and oxygenation. So, that is very true. So, it is the most abundant enzyme in the whole biosphere, it is also true. So, it is present in the mesophyll cells of the C4 plants, yellow illa idhiti. Okay. Generally, it is present in the bundle sheet cells anta idhidhre, sari hoogthirtho, e options tappirodhrindha. So, it has more affinity to carbon dioxide rather than oxygen, it is also true. Answer anna check modana. So, definitely the false yavda panta tandhre, so present in the mesophyll cells of the C4 plants is the my next question, the primary carbon dioxide acceptors in C3 and C4 cycle respectively. So, automatically C3 cycle and the bandagam that is called ribulose diphosphate and the karithi and the C4 cycle and the bandaga phosphoenol pyruvic acid and the so ignore the answer answers so correct the answer okay definitely this answer is also good and the okay so remaining answers are wrong and the new atomar kobe kuna. So, match the following anta. Il nodi compounds anna kutti divi. So, yav yavdu substrate anta. So, generally illi av yes to carbon atom in the model patti divi. Eri thi questions kudu common agi barutte. Illi, so, paspoinol pyruvic acid anta bandaga 3 carbon compound anta heel bodu. RUDP anta bandaga 5 carbon compound anta heel bodu. That is called B anta. Axolocytic acid di diela C. That is called 4 carbon compound. And glucose di diela that is called D. That is called 6 carbon compound. Here it is one the simple question and the answer A, S, B or C, P and B, Q is the correct answer and the correct answer. Next, this is one more what we call level 2 question here it is appearance agutte. How many carbon dioxide ATP and NADPH2 are required to produce one molecule of glucose as per Kelvin cycle? Entire Kelvin cycle and now study maridivi. Definitely a molecule of glucose is required for 6 carbon dioxide molecules by the 6 Melvin Kelvin cycle and the agak bitu. Now first 10 madbeku, 6 carbon dioxide fixation not beku, C matu D nali 6 day. Okay. So 12 ATP matu 18 the what we called NADPH2 and the day. Sulpa ili now not daga 6 carbon dioxide. Fixation na daga 12 molecules of ATP molecules parutte. Adre, ide final answer alla. Illi 18 matthu 12 anthe yak koti divi anthe yoccha mat beko. Regeneration of RUMP to the RUDP ag beka adre. Another 6 molecules of ATP molecules use agutte. Adre inda enapa answer anthe andre. So, 12 plus 6 HT ATP, 18 ATP use agutte. Matthu 12 NADPH to use agutte. 6 carbon dioxide use agutte. No dana. So, therefore, the answer is C that is called the correct answer. Now, we generally match the following. Illi carboxylation, phosphorylation, photolysis of water, phosphoglycolate and phosphoglycerate, nitrosomonas. So, carboxylation anta now answers anna kottaga that is called Rubisco is the enzyme anta karitivi. Phosphorylation is concerned with the ATP formation. Photolysis of water adaga that is called oxygen evolution anta karitivi. Then the S is concerned with the the photo respiration and nitrosomonas bacteria with the chemi synthesis akak bittu illi answers anna check maadadaga so p is equal to 3 q is equal to 5 r is equal to 1 s is equal to 2 and t is equal to 4 next question arrange the following reactions of kelvin cycle in a proper way let me go to the dark reaction occurs in three steps one is called carboxylation the second one is called reduction the third one is called regeneration nani heli dhrali answer ide definitely that is called the 312 is the answer next question which of the following chemicals undergo oxidation 
and reduction respectively during light reaction of photosynthesis and takaritivi. Nodi li nan hedradu oxidation yavda gutte, nantara reduction yavda guttienta, oxidation naga yavda pantandre, water molecule, reduction naga yavda pantandre, NADP. So therefore, this is the answer and the remaining three are so what we called not uh, related to the concerned question. In C3 pathway out of 12 molecules, 3 PGAL out of 3 molecules of uh, 3 PGAL, how many are used for regeneration of RUBP? Already held it in 12 molecules of DPGAL, 10 molecules of DPGAL. So, involved in the regeneration process, so, but the 2 molecules, so condensed to form the sucrose or sugar and now karitivi. So, that is why the answer is 10 nanta. Okay. So, here the um, cyclic photophosphorylation diagram based question are there. Idali A yavdu, B yavdu, C yavdu and the help beka gutte. A nimge gutti de electron acceptor and the B electron transport system and the ETS and the karitivi. C is PS1. The answer is the A is the correct answer. Then the path of flow of electrons during uh, cyclic photophosphorylation e, e is anta agle hel pitidini so that is called non cyclic photophosphorylation le electrons donate pada yavudappa andre hydroxyl ion complex hydroxyl ion complex yavudrinda barutte water molecule split aadaga barutte agadre nau tegidkondaga so water anna tegidkondo water in the electrons barutte so these two electrons entering into the ps2 agutte PS2 in the ejecta than the electrons of PS1 go gute, PS1 in the ejecta than the electrons of NADP go bit combined agute. Is this to nimic a gotiruanta process? So, answer is also same. Okay, B is the correct answer. Then, so how many of the following statements pertaining to the C4 plants are correct? Ido, so hot santa karitivi, high order thinking skills santa now karitivi. Iriti one of the questions go neatly, but to CTA common na kerta etare, a kendre C4 pathway na tumba, less concentrate martivi, but so illi questions go burdu, intadrumel birthday, so nodana options have iti dienta, C4 plants are mostly tropical inhabited, yes, maizu, matavana ticket kondaga, they are tropical inhabited, even stomata are in closer condition, they can initiate photosynthesis. Yes, this is absolutely true. Cyclic photophosphorylation occurs in bundle sheath cells of uh, the C4 plants, yet it is also true. Because Aliyana so generally the what we call chloroplast of the bundle sheath cells are photosystem 1 is more uh, number alirute when compared to the photosystem 2. Hagak bitto, so ali non cyclic photophosphorylation agodila. So, yake bundle sheet cells are light reaction agodila tandre, photosystem 2 illa atava, less number idian tani tilkondir bekagote, therefore that is also true. Non cyclic photophosphorylation occurs in both in mesophyll cells and bundle sheet cells. This is wrong. Okay. So, hagak bitto, so pertaining to the C4 plants ali, illi fourth statement to wrong aitu. C4 plants use more number of ATPs to produce one molecule glucose in than the C3 plants and the So, that is also true when compared to C3 plants, more number of uh, ATP molecules are utilized during the C4 pathway. There is a very little chances of photorespiration in C4 plants. This is also true. So, Hagag Pitu, total now 6 sentences are not kondaga. So, 5 sentences are correct today. One day, one the sentence is tapide. Answer and anodana. Yes, 5 sentences are correct and one sentence is the wrong. And now, Karitivi. Okay. So, next, Vidyarthi Gale, uh, after the completion of uh, the photosynthesis in higher plants, the next chapter is respiration in plants okay let me see some of the contents idra lo kuda respiration definition matte equation ide so idralli anaerobic respiration glycolysis matte fermentation ide aerobic respiration tricarboxylic acid cycle so electron transport chain system amphibolic pathway matte respiratory quotient ishtu content anna namu discussion madana okay so, generally cellular respiration on the catabolic process and the nimku namku gwatti de. So, generally e particular cellular respiration cell e respiratory substrates are converted into very simpler compounds and the process. 
while during this particular process ATP is released as the what we called energy rich molecule. So, the cellular respirationally use aguvanta one cell organelle, so mitochondria, okay. Therefore, uh, mitochondria is called uh, power house of a cell on the curative. And uh, generally it can generate ATP molecules. So, therefore, ATPs are called energy currency of the cells on the curative. Here is uh, the site of respiration is uh, the mitochondria. So, generally mitochondria is uh, uh, the site for three important uh, reactions. One is called preparatory stage, that preparatory stage which occurs in uh, the perimitochondrial space, not really perimitochondrial space, and the, because uh, mitochondria is membrane bound cell organelle, uh, generally it has outer membrane and inner membrane, so he, there is a space called perimitochondrial space. So, generally the product of perimitochondrial space while during the preparatory stage gets entered into the mitochondrial matrix, not really the mitochondrial matrix and thano karithi. E mitochondrial matrix on a karithi, Krebs cycle nidhi utte, ok. So, generally, so Krebs cycle laad nantara, the end product of preparatory stage irpodu, Krebs cycle irpodu, idhi kinta prior, and the outside the mitochondria in the cell cytoplasm, one more process agutte, that is called the first step anthalu karibodu, glycolysis anta, other end products gulo, ill nodi illi kempu chukki chukki idhi ala, they are called Rackers particles anta karithi vi, or Rackers particles ola gavagda ga, electron transport system agutte, electron transport system odha ga, so energy rich molecules, while during uh, uh, the aerobic respiration cell, energy rich molecules gulo, Yerdu natural preparations are good. Vandu NADH2 anta, matandu FADH2 anta, these two energy rich molecules pass through the electron transport system. So, in the electron transport system or Rackers particle, ATP synthesis complex, this is present. So, generally one NADH2 will gives rise to three ATP molecule and so one FADH2 gives the two ATP molecules anta, e concept ni gutthir beku. One NADH2 DH2 is equal to 3 ATP and 1 FADH2 is equal to 2 ATP. So, aerobic respiration 3 steps are agutte. One is called glycolysis, the second one is called along with preparatory stage namu Krebs cycle and tele karitivi, matto third one is called electron transport system. Anta. Glycolysis is the common step for both the anaerobic respiration and the aerobic respiration. It occurs in the cell cytoplasm of the organisms. Anta. Now, karitivi. So, glycolysis anna namu EMP pathway anta karitivi, M dan mayor of Parnas pathway anta karitivi. Very simple, e particular first step pala gadige, so the product glucose, so undergo breakdown to release two molecules of pyruvic acid anta karitivi. E particular step pala gadige, initial stages ali two ATP molecules kolo utilize agutte, adana namu balance sheet ali consideration maad bekum. So, remaining steps are energy rich molecules gulo generate aakta hogutte that is in the form of NADH2 and ATP molecules anta karitivi. Haagagi net product of glycolysis ali 10 ATP molecules gulo uh, what we call synthesis agutte because ill heli dhini nanu NADH1 NADH2 is equal to 3 ATP anta tandaga so that is called illi so, so what we called uh, 2 into 2 on the bandaga, uh, the what we call more early R on the karitivi, okay. So, remaining uh, the what we called uh, 4 uh, ATP molecules, 10 nagote, but initial stage ali, yerdu kalibeka gote, total net product is 8 anta, idu amel in the now discussion modern ante. So, any of glycolysis is nothing but the breakdown of 6 carbon compound glucose into, so 3 carbon, 2 molecules of 3 carbon compound pyruvates anta karitivi, various different enzymes can involved in this process, okay. So, the end product of glycolysis pyruvic acid, so from the cell cytoplasm gets entered into the Another complex set of reactions we called uh, the Krebs cycle and the karitivi. So, it is also called citric acid. Actually, this is called Krebs cycle which occurs in the mitochondrial matrix and this is occurs in the perimitochondrial space. So, generally during this particular preparatory stage, the three carbon compound pyruvic acid 
So, undergo the decarboxylation. Not even carbon dioxide, what is the decarboxylation? So, then donate two hydrogen ions to NAD, thereby NADH2 will be produced and the compound will become uh, the two carbon containing compound acetyl CoA. So, that acetyl CoA, so from the perimitochondrial spoils, gets entered into the mitochondrial matrix and involved in the complex of reactions. While during, it will undergo decarboxylation and dehydrogenation results in the formation of energy rich compounds called NADH2 and FADH2. First formed compound, 6 carbon containing compound, so that is citric acid. This cycle is also called citric acid cycle. It is also called TCA cycle because many intermediate compounds has carboxylic acid groups. So, tricarboxylic acid cycle and the look at the intermediate compound citric acid 6 carbon, alpha keto glutric acid 5 carbon, so then succinic acid 4 carbon, malic acid 4 carbon, starting compound oxaloacetic acid. If you love the number of carbon atoms, you will see the CET method. So, the electron transport system is the next step. So, NADH2 and FADH2 formed during glycolysis and preparatory stage and and the Krebs cycle gets entered into the uh, Rackers particles which consisting electron transport system. So, so involved in the process of a terminal oxidation process and now karithi, because in this particular place the oxygen involved and in, in the synthesis of ATP molecules. Il bandaga tumba important to the electron transport system of the uh, Rackers particle has many complexes and the complex 1 NADH dehydrogenase complex 2, FADH2 dehydrogenase, complex 3, cytochrome BC complex, complex 4, cytochrome C oxidase complex, complex 5, ATC, ATP synthase. Idhar mele questions kudu jasthi bartha irutte. This is a diagrammatic representation of electron transport system. Idhar nimi gotti de. <coughs> then this is called ATP synthase, records particles which are uh, in associated with the cristi of the mitochondria. Okay. So, idu agle nano kemi asthmatic path finally idu mechanism mana heli dini, okay. Then this is called amphibolic pathway, okay. So, amphibolic path finally il nodi fats, carbohydrates, proteins, complex molecules. So, they are undergo catabolic process to release the very simpler compounds and the karitivi. Nodi fats converted into fatty acids and glycerol, carbohydrates converted into simple sugars, proteins converted into amino acids. Once again, these simpler compounds involved in the formation of uh, the complex compounds and with the release of carbon dioxide. Therefore, a process which has both constructive and destructive. So, anabolic and catabolic. Hence, this is called amphibolic pathway. Okay. So, the important questions go last part of this uh, aerobic respiration cell birth, that is called RQ or respiratory quotient. Okay. So, generally, what is RQ? You know, small equation koti dinodi. Volume of carbon dioxide produced or evolved to the volume of oxygen consumed. When the respiratory substrate burn up, oxygen are very important. Agagi, yes, two molecules oxygen consume agutto, but the yes, two carbon dioxide, what we called molecules release agutto, that will give us a value called RQ value, that is called per unit time and the karitive. That is a simpler example. Now, we have to do glucose. It is the end product of photosynthesis. Now, glucose, so aerobic respiration is stepwise. It requires for 6 oxygen molecules. Therefore, glucose molecule in presence of 6 oxygen is to give the what we call 6 carbon dioxide. Melgade reaction is volume of so carbon dioxide produced. Antatta yerdaga, that is called 6 CO2. So, that is called volume of oxygen consumed antandaga, 6 CO2. Therefore, that is equal to 1. Hagadre, RQ value of glucose yena panta yerdaga, that is called 1 nanta yerbeko, atava unity antanimo, yerbeka gote, ekendra 1 nanta korde daga. So, CET questions unity anta look at a chance of sirute, adana notice markoli. So, different uh, what we call respiratory substrates. So, Matu, their RQ values and the always glucose RQ value is one and the karitivi. Fatty acids matu protein do, so that is called less than one and the karitivi. So, then the what we called uh, RQ value of organic acids and the 
so that is called organic quasit, so that is called more than one नंतर नावु गोत्तिर बेका गुत्ते, okay, इतर मेले नानु, उन्द few questions अगलना, multiple choice questions कोड़ना respirations मेले, what we call interact माडलिके निंजतेगे, बैस्तिनी, so अधरली मदलने question ये नप्पान तंदरे, the tissue of highest respiratory activities, okay, so simple इदो, okay, इले direct questions इदे, मत्तु केल वंदु terms कोड़ना निव कल्थी दिरी, meristems, ground tissue, phloem, मत्तु mechanical tissue, नोड इले ground tissue, phloem tissue, mechanical tissue, इवेल्लवु कोड़ mature tissue संत करितिवे, so generally, इले respiratory activities, so तुम्ब कड़मे इरुत्ते, so young tissue, so अधरलो meristems अल्ली, they can exhibit active cell division आग इरुदिन्द, so the what we call highest respiratory activities, so इरुत्ते, therefore, answers अन्न चेक्क मोड़न, so meristem is the correct answer, okay. My next question is, the substance that links glycolysis and Krebs cycle and act as an intermediate compound for synthesis of fatty acid अन्त, नोड़ इदो वंद चूरु लिटल बिट्टो नमिगे, so what we call ambiguity create माड़ुत्ते, आदर question नो नेर्वागिदे, glycolysis मत्तु Krebs cycle अन्न, correct माड़ु वंद था, compound यावदु वंद था, definitely glycolysis end product यवदपा, pyruvic acid अन्त करिती, then that pyruvic acid gets entered into the perimitochondrial space, केलोर हेड़ तरे, that is called preparatory stage अल्ली acetyl कोईये बरुत्ते, that will link with the Krebs cycle, no, no, हाँ केली ला नानू, इली glycolysis मत्तु Krebs cycle केलोर दरिंदा, only pyruvic acid, so is the linked molecule, which can connect both these two process, glycolysis and the Krebs cycle अन्त हेड़ तिनी, because without pyruvic acid, there is no formation of acetyl कोईये, there is no acetyl कोईये, there is no Krebs cycle अन्त गोत्ति दे, answer अन्न चेक्क मोड़ना, that is called pyruvic acid and remaining answers are wrong. Okay. So then the third one is called the muscle fatigue is an indication of anta. Okay. So strenuous exercise marda gyan agutte, namike susta agutte. Susta da gyan agutte, muscle cell la glucose anna drain out maad bittu kali maad rutte. Aga muscle cells hu immediately switch over to the another important process called lactic acid fermentation anta karitivi. Thereby the two ATP molecules is obtained for the muscles for the next work anta. Aga agi node an answer anna accumulation of lactic acid anta nao karitivi. So, that's why, so accumulation of ethyl alcohol illa, accumulation of pyruvic acid and so these three answers are wrong and this is the correct answer, okay. Study the following equation for anaerobic respiration, what should be written in place of X anta idhe. So, generally, ill nodi idhu glucose molecule, so 2 ADP plus 2 PI, illi X bandhi dhe 2 CO2 bandhi dhe and 2 ATP molecule. अदे इदु 36 ATP molecule आगिद्रे, equation change आगतित्तु, that is called, the what we call end product of aerobic respiration अन्त येड़ बोध आगित्तु, इल्ली carbon dioxide release आगिरो दिरिंदा, this is called partial breakdown of the glucose अन्त, आग आगि definitely the X indicates the ethyl alcohol and the entire the reaction explains the ethyl alcoholic fermentation, let me check the answer, definitely 2C2H5, OH चंत नव करितिवे, so therefore this is the correct answer, okay. The fifth question comes under cellular respiration is, which of the following statement is incorrect चंत केड़ि दिनी, नोडि, इल्ली नालक statement चंत कोटि दिनी, the breakdown product of glucose which enters into mitochondria on during aerobic respiration is pyruvic acid generated in the cytoplasm, आगले हेर देनानु, Glycolysis is the common step for both the anaerobic and aerobic respiration अन्त हेड़दे, अगदे glycolysis चिल्दा गुत्ते, cytoplasm अल्ला गुत्ते, cytoplasm अंदर येनो, cytosol, अगदर ये आंसर येनो, सरी इदे अन्त अर्थ, ये single NADH, after complete oxidation in electron transport system, produce three molecules of ATP, अगले इदनों कुट डिस्केशन माड़िदिवी, one NADH2 is equal to three ATP, 1FADH2 is equal to 2 ATP. हाग अधर इसे नेट्स सरी इदे अलवा? सरी इदे. The ratio of volume of carbon dioxide consumed in respiration to the volume of oxygen evolved is called respiratory quotient. यल्लो वंद करेगे मिस्टेक आगोत्ते इदो. 
सो मिस्टेक ऐन आटोमेटिकली सो वालूम आफ कॉबन डईआक्सईड इवाड अंत कंस्यूमड अंत रांग सो कॉपनसेशन पॉइंट इज द पॉइंट रीच इन ए सो प्लांट वे द रेट आफ फोटो सिंथसिसक्वल टू दि रेट आफ रेस्पिशन अंत दिस स्टेटमेंट ओके नाकु स्टेटमेंट तेज द इनकरेक्ट स्टेटमेंट आगते नोड़ अब्सल्यूटली सो सिज द इनकरेक्ट स्टेटमेंट द सिक्स क्वेश्चन इज ईडेंटिफाइ दि करेक्ट टर्म फार दि गिवन स्टेटमेंट अंड से द करेक्ट आंसर अंत सडन इनक्रीज इन द रेट आफ रेस्पिशन ड्यूरींग रईपनिंग आफ फ्रूट अंत अब जनरली रईपनिंग आफ फ्रूट इथिली सो वट वि कल वलटल हार्मोन रिज आगते आग रेस्पिटरी आक्टिविटी जास्ती अदान ना करी क्लैमैट्रिक रेस्पिशन अंत ना करी रिडक्षन इन दि कंसम्शन आफ रेस्पिशन सब्सट्रेट वे मोड आफ रेस्पिशन इज चेंज फ्रम अनेरोबिक टू एरोबिक अब यू ना करी पैश्चर्स एफेक्ट अंत ना करी दे सो वट वि कल ईस्ट रेस्पैर बोथ बै अनेरोबिक अंड एरोबिक रेस्पिशन मेथड अंत करी यूशली एर टई मैक्रोब्स आब्लीगेटरी फेकलटेटिव नम ईस्ट फेकलटेटिव वे यू आर् गोयिंग टू सप्ल मालिकुल आक्सीजन इट क्या शिफ्ट फ्रम अनेरोबिक टू एरोबिक अंत करी सो मूरकू नम आसर गोतु यद वट वि कल बी सी अंड ए सो ए नो क्लैमैट्रिक रेस्पिशन जम्लींग आक्यूरेट आगे दर्क्यू आफ प्रोटी कॉबोहैड्रेट फैट अंड आर्गानिकेस्पेक्टिवली अंत प्रोटीन गए कॉबोहैड्रेट दट वि कल दीक्वल दिसक्वल टू वन अंत फैट अंड आर्गानिकसिड मोर दो इन दसर इज सो सिंपल ए इज द आंसर ओके टेक्स्ट बुक् आर्क्यू व्याल्यू आफ फैटी आसिड अदर एस्पेली ट्रिपल मेटीन एक्सापल को नो दैन वन अंत करी नो सो लेस् कॉबन डईआक्सईड इवाव आंतर लेस् दैन व्याल्यू अंत सिंपल सिंबालिको मोर आक्सीजन कंस्यूम आगे सो दिस वेरी इंडिकेशन आर्गानिकसिड मोर दैन वन अंत कटली नो दिस कॉल आक्सालिकसिड सो फोर अंत सो मालिकसिड वन पॉइंट थ्री अंत करी These are all called more than one value. So, here you want to note that here, so that is called more carbon dioxide molecules. So, all the other things, so less oxygen molecules are used. Agar the this is very very important. Here it is. You want shortcut points. Gala na observation mat beko. Okay. So, my next question is during aerobic respiration in Christe, ADP combines with the phosphate group to produce ATP. This is an example. Lanta kari thi. जनरली पास्पारेशन सिखापटे पास्पारेशन फोटो पास्पारेशन सिंथसिस सो एनी सब्सट्रेट गिव पास्पेट ग्रूप टू दि एडीपी अंत सो फार्मेशन आफ एटीपी कॉल सब्सट्रेट लेवल पास्पारेशन अंत करी बट इन एरोबिक रेस्पिशन मैटोकांड्रियादल आगते मैटोकांड्रियादल आटोमेटिकली आक्सीजन ईज द इंटर्मीडियेट कांपौंड विच पर्फारम दिस रियाक्षन so that is called formation of atp therefore that uh, formation of atp in presence of uh, oxygen i said to be oxidative phosphorylation anta karibekagutte so hagadre answer check madona so definitely oxidative phosphorylation is the correct answer it is not photophosphorylation this is not so generally photophosphorylation agad light reaction alli substrate level phosphorylation agadu glycolysis alli so generally substrate indale phosphate group hodaga adana dephosphorylation anta karithivi but the answer is the oxidative phosphorylation anta nivu helabodu okay so generally match the following with the correct combination anta so illi decarboxylation anta bandaga नोड़ी आंसर हेल्ती दट इज कॉल क्रेप सैकल कॉबन डईआक्सईड इवाल आगते हैं होते दट इज कॉल डिकारबाक्सिलेशन आक्सीडेटिव पास्पारेशन अंत बंदा सो दट इज कॉल एलेक्ट्रा ट्रांसपोर्ट सिसम अंत नोटिस अंड सब्रेट पास्पारेशन अंत बंदे ग्लैकालेसिस अंत गली फोटो पास्पारेशन अंत बंदा दट इज कॉल फोटो सिंथसिस अंत गली कॉबाक्सिलेशन अंदा कॉबन डईआक्सईड इज आडेड टू दि सैकल दट इज कॉल केलवि सैकल देर फोर द आंसर इज 
D ಅಂತ ನಾವು ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಇದನ್ನ ಒಂದು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ನೀವು ನೋಟಿಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫೈ ದ ಕಾಂಪೌಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ರೆಬ್ ಸೈಕಲ್ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೆಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಅಲ್ಫಾಬೆಟ್ಸ್ ಚೂಸ್ ದಿ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ನಾನು ಕ್ರೆಬ್ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಅನ್ನ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಹೇಳಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಸೊ ಜನರಲಿ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಅಸಿಟೈಲ್ ಕೋಯೆ ಆಡ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಅಂದಾಗ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಫೋರ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಕಂಟೈನಿಂಗ್ ಕಾಂಪೌಂಡ್ ಆಕ್ಸಾಲೋಸಿಟಿಕ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಆಗಿರಲೇಬೇಕು ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಸಿಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಆಗಿರಲೇಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಸಿ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಡೈ ಆಕ್ಸೈಡ್ ಡಿಕಾರ್ಬಾಕ್ಸಿಲೇಷನ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಮುಖಾಂತರ ಸೊ ಡಿ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾಲಿಕ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಆಗಿರಲೇಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಹಾಗಾಗ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಎಂಟೈನ್ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಅನ್ನ ನೀವು ಸೊ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಹೋಗೋದಕ್ಕಿಂತ ಮುಂಚೆ ಒಂದು ಸರಿಯಾಗಿ ನೋಡ್ಕೊಂಡಾಗ ಯಾವ ಇಂಟರ್ಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ ಕಾಂಪೌಂಡ್ಸ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಕಾಂಪೌಂಡ್ ಅನ್ನು ಹೊಂದಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅದು ಏನು ಅಂತ ನಮಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಅನ್ನ ಚೆಕ್ ಮಾಡೋಣ ಎಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಟ್ರೂ ಎ ಈಸ್ ಸಿಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಸೊ ಬಿ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಫಾ ಕೀಟೋಗ್ಲೂಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಸಿ ಈಸ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಡೈ ಆಕ್ಸೈಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡಿ ಈಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಲಿಕ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಸೊ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಚೆಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸೊ ಎ ಈಸ್ ಸಿಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಅಬ್ಸಲ್ಯೂಟ್ಲಿ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಓಕೆ ದೆನ್ ಮೈ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ದ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಗೈನ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ಏರೋಬಿಕ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಿರೇಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಅನೇರೋಬಿಕ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಿರೇಷನ್ ಅನೇರೋಬಿಕ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಿರೇಷನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಎರಡು ಎ ಟಿ ಪಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಏರೋಬಿಕ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಿರೇಷನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮೂವತ್ತಾರು ಹದಿನೆಂಟು ಇಂಟು ಎರಡು ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಹಾಗಾಗ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಯಾವ್ದಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಏಟೀನ್ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಎನ್ಸೈಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೆಬ್ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಆರ್ ಲೊಕೇಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಇಸ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ನರ್ ಕಾಂಪೋನೆ ಆಫ್ ಮೈಟೋಕಾಂಡ್ರಿಯಾ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ರಿಮೈನಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಇಸ್ ಆರ್ ರಾಂಗ್ ಓಕೆ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫೈ ದಿ ಆಲ್ಫಾಬೆಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಇಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಚೂಸ್ ದಿ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಅಂತ ಪೈರ್ವಿಕ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎ ಅಂತ ಎ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವ್ದು ಬೇರೆ ಯಾವ್ದು ಅಲ್ಲ ಕೋ ಎ ಅಂತ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎನ್ ಎ ಡಿ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಅಸಿಟೈಲ್ ಕೋ ಎ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಡಿ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಸಿ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಅಸಿಟೈಲ್ ಕೋ ಎ ಸೊ ಕೋ ಎ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎಂ ಜಿ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಪೈರ್ವೇಟ್ ಡಿಹೈಡ್ರೋನೇಜ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಡೈ ಆಕ್ಸೈಡ್ ಅಂತ so that's why this is the answer glycolysis is also known as anta so glycolysis anna emp pathway anta karitivi c4 cycle anna haslack pathway anta nau karitivi calvin cycle anna c3 cycle anta karitivi krebs cycle anna citric acid athava tricarboxylic acid cycle anta the energy yield as a result of a total oxidation of one molecule of glucose during cellular respiration is sufficient to ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಅಂತ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ತರ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯೂಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಡಿ ಪಿ ಟು ತರ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯೂಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಟಿ ಪಿ ಅಂತ ನಾವು ಗೊತ್ತಿರಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಯೂಶಲಿ ಒಂದ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ತರ್ಟಿ ಏಟ್ ಎ ಟಿ ಪಿಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಎನ್ ಎ ಡಿ ಎಚ್ ಟು ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ಗ್ಲೈಕಾಲೈಸಿಸ್ ಪಾಸ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದಿ ಮೈಟೋಕಾಂಡ್ರಿಯಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಟು ರೀಚ್ ರ್ಯಾಕರ್ಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಯುಟಿಲೈಸ್ ಟು ಎ ಟಿ ಪಿ ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯೂಲ್ಸ್ ಇರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ತರ್ಟಿ ಏಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಎರಡು ಕಾಳದ್ರೆ ತರ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸಿಗುತ್ತೆ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ ಡಯಾಗಮ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಆನ್ Uh, the what we called fermentation process here lactic acid fermentation matto alcoholic fermentation kotidivi illi so a b c d alphabets yavudu anta helbeku a that is called phosphoenol pyruvic acid b nad converted into nadh2 c is ethyl alcohol and carbon dioxide and d is lactic acid hence the answer is the what we called so name the type of respiratory substrate being utilized when the volume of carbon dioxide liberated during respiration is more than the volume of oxygen used agle nanu hints anna kottidini more carbon dioxide evolve aitu antandre definitely respiratory
ಅವರಿಗೆ ವಂದಿಸ್ತಾ ನನ್ನ ಮಾತನ್ನು ಮುಗಿಸ್ತೀನಿ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳು